have one hell of a nasty storm heading this way. You can hear our sirens, which are out that way. Well, one of them. We've got them kind of all around us, but the closest one was that way I was pointing. Yeah. This is, uh, well, like I told Jen, this is the uh, nastiest storm that I've seen yet since we've been together. So 10 years. What's coming in now is the nastiest storm that I've seen in at least 10 years. It's, uh, it's ugly. There's rotation all up and down the line. And uh, it's a huge line of, of storms that are moving through. Uh, there was a little... Well, southwest of us, there was a confirmed tornado, I believe confirmed on the ground. It had lifted, um, but that area is still under warning. And now we're about to get hit uh, with the same system, a little bit further north than that. But again, there's rotation all the way up and down that line. So, anyway, I will, uh, I will update it when it's over. I don't know if the colors will really show out here, but there's a greenish tint to the uh, clouds, and I hear sirens like crazy. Um, there does look like there was, oh wow, some interesting looking clouds there. I don't know if the microphone's picking up. There's a bunch of sirens somewhere. I don't know if you can see that coloration in the clouds, but it's weird because there's like a greenish hue, and then that looks almost like a purplish. I don't know if my my pocket two is picking that up or not, but that is crazy looking. It's uh. It's right upon us, and like I say, that's definitely greenish. There's another one of those purplish looking clouds up there. That's weird. All right, I don't want this thing to get too wet, so I'm gonna get back inside. I will update you uh, as things go. He is certainly saying. Oh, I look at it right here. That's another circulation south of Belgium. So I've got two going right now. One is probably right about here, this one right here, and it may update when it updates, it may just jump a little bit to the east. So east south and southeast of Belleville, another circulation. Um, so what I'll do is let's get a look at the radar, but you can even see a little hook right here. Give you an idea of what they're saying. The flow on that one to the north. Okay, so let, let's put a track on this entire line again. Of course, we're here. Trying not to pinpoint the exact um, rotation on this track, this particular track, but instead the entire line and let people know that when this hits, it may develop a tornado right on the line, uh, or it may just be straight line winds. Either way, I think it's safe to be in your tornado. We are shot. just Shout at the edge space. now. Three minutes. Mascuda, we're now at 14 minutes right now. There's Freebird in about five minutes. That's one of the areas of rotation that I noticed. And that's going to be probably north of Freebird. Um, New Baden, 20 minutes, New Baden. Uh, Albers in about 28 minutes in Oakville. Not Oakville, but Oakville in Washington County in 40 minutes. Uh, so that'd be coming into Clinton and Washington counties. Uh, observed. So we got a new tornado warning coming in, and it's observed. Keep in mind, and the Weather Service is pointing this out now as well, that the all of these reflections are getting farther and farther away from the radar so we're looking higher and higher in the storm so it's going to be difficult to talk about which one of these is actually reaching to the ground it's a uh, new tornado warning that's a i think it's a new storm I, I know it's i know it's not a new storm anywhere along this line we've been tracking this for you but now they've got it observed um and let's see if it is or from uh from the radar or from spotters. It is radar indicated. Uh, severe thunderstorm capable of several tornadoes, actually, and extensive straight line wind damage uh, located along the line from Livingston to near O'Fallon to near Millstock. It's moving east at 45. Wow. Let me switch 
that off. 220,000 people in in that morning. And I'm going to switch over that to the That is crazy. Yeah, it's, I mean, you've got one right here. Yeah. You know, a weaker rotation. <clears throat> See, a weaker rotation just uh, north of us. This is us. Observed. So just north of us, there's a weak rotation. Uh, and again, some of these have been observed today in the sense that storm spotters saw them, sent in pictures, sent in video. We had that earlier in Macoupin County near the town of Barr. This one is radar indicated. Let's switch over to the debris tracker. And I don't see anything obvious there. Might have had a little bit right there. See that little tiny spot around New Douglas? Talking around about right there. New Douglas, we need you in a tornado shelter. This was 621. You see the timestamp there, so it's 623. So literally just like two minutes ago, uh, that looks like debris in the air. Now I'm gonna go to the latest and see how it's gone. This is what we're dealing with. This is why I think it's prudent to track that, that line and let people know when the line hits, be in your tornado shelter. Take, uh, be safe rather than sorry. Although this, I have seen rotation specifically in this area, and I've been highlighting it for you. It's now east of New Douglas. If you're in New Douglas, you're in the clear on this. And if you're headed toward, if you're in Sorrento, it's headed towards you. Let me go back. Not quite it's strong, sure, yeah. it's there. It's right there. Outside. It north and east. It went a little north of east. So Sorrento is just gonna come at you for the potential for uh, a tornado in just a matter of minutes, and that is the latest scan right from there, about four minutes. Let's zoom out a little bit and go back down Grant Fork, Highland area. Uh, it's, it would be north of Highland, but again, if you're in Highland, I want you in your tornado shelter. I, I want everyone along the leading edge of this line uh, in your tornado shelter, and you're probably hopefully taking it seriously because you're in tornado warnings, and you look at all the warnings, the red boxes there. Um, I have not paid much attention to the south because we don't have tornado warnings there. So, same advice, I, I would say be inside and away from windows when this line hits. I don't think you need to be in your tornado shelter like in Festus or when eventually it hits in Farmington, but I have meteorologists. And just so everybody knows, Jen is actually in the bathroom, which is the uh, safest place that we have here. It's a concrete slab home, so there's no, no getting underground. And uh, there's really no interior rooms, but there's a house that is right on top of us, um, that direction. <laughs> there's girls over there. are rushing inside. Uh, the, the but uh, she's in the back in the bathroom, which is the safest place to be here. So what's happening is, big picture, we've got a Girls are crazy out there. That is now east of St. Louis. St. Louis came to clear. The severe threat is done. And anywhere to the east along the leading edge, you can get two things that we're especially concerned about. Damaging straight line winds and tornadoes. Most of these are the brief spin up tornadoes and the circulation happening. We see debris in the air in our debris tracker. And down there. And then a new one develops, and then a new one. It's a little bit of black and That's a new severe thunderstorm warning. Flint's farming thing is huge because it's this entire line that can produce damage in winds. That's what that yellow box is. But the red box represents where those uh, circulations are. Sometimes you'll see a red box that has a, a black line in it. Some of the like right here, and that's because radar actually spotted debris in the air, and that's just a visual clue to me that we've got an observed, or sometimes what they call considerable tornado. That's what our black lines mean for us. It just tells us, hey, this isn't an ordinary tornado warning. Something's going on. Either it's a considerable, meaning the signature is considerable, or it's observed, meaning someone either saw it on the radar and seen debris in the air. Speaking of that, I want to get rid of the boxes and just focus on that line and see if I can see any uh, debris with our debris tracker. See, I just want to mention while you're looking at that, I was just looking at the velocity data to see any areas that might be standing out to me. And uh, right along Highway 40 in St. Joe Jacob, it looks like we've got some really strong winds. Those are heading east toward uh, the Highland, Illinois area. Yeah, I'm suggesting your rotation here, just some really strong, potentially uh, straight line winds. Okay. Straight line winds heading right for us. So, uh, right around Mesquita, I saw something and then I looked at the radar. This is why it takes analysis to, to me. Uh, and this is why I like to wait for the weather service to say if we've got debris in there. But this is not um, in Muscuda. Because when you look at the debris tracker, you see that little dot? It's supposed to be on our tornado safe area. And 
and I'm in the living room by the front window. You know why? Because I'm a Midwesterner. <laughs> because you have a storm that could produce a, a brief tornado at any moment. See this, like right in here, that's another little inflow notch. You got a little inflow in here, and they're subtle, but they can produce a tornado just like that. And maybe they can run for a mile. Pull that up. Maybe they can run for 30 seconds. So you can see a little better. I'll pull the window down. Rotation coming right at Mascuda that I've noticed. Let's see what that's been doing. What did that look like earlier? Week, week. Yeah, so it's... It's been rotating. It's just a little stronger right now. They got their eyes on the northernmost storm, saying that it continues to exhibit supercell characteristics, uh, moving toward the Wick, Illinois area. That's got to be this. Yeah, that's northern Montgomery. Winds are getting ready yeah, to hit. West of Montgomery, North St. Montgomery, Jacob that they mentioned is Rain. not far from us. Northeast of Litchfield. About uh, maybe a okay. seven-minute drive. Uh, so that uh, is rain wrap too. You're not gonna see it. So I'm gonna highlight it on radar here. If you're in Raymond, you're in the clear, it's just east and southeast, it'd be a round tree. No, nope. you've gotta be in your tornado shelter in Comus, Illinois, in your tornado shelter. So all in rain, and there it is right there, coming at round tree. Uh, and yeah, the reason you can't see the, you may not be able to see any kind of a debris uh, with your uh, correlation coefficient is just because the radar beam is so high by the time it gets out there it's going to be looking over the, the debris you may overshoot it yeah. yeah yeah i'm just investigating on the lincoln uh radar it's, too, it's, it's, it's getting ready to hit wit. so uh switch over to our st louis radar and then i'm going to track it for you real quick uh moving to the east do you have a speed on that by the way uh which one the one that's headed towards the comas wit illinois is that 30 or 40. um the last one I had was 40. Okay. So let me uh, back this out and we'll put a track in folks in the comments a heads up on where this can reach you. East at 40. Uh, thank you. That's uh, meteorologist Chris and Cornette and Kent Earhart helping out. It takes the team, the Comus, 15 minutes, okay? Round tree, we need you in our tornado shelter. It's now 6.30. I am First Alert Chief Meteorologist Steve Templeton and we have meteorologist Chris and Cornette and Kent Earhart. Uh, with us tag teaming on this very busy day as we have multiple uh, tornado warnings. That's what all these red boxes are. And then this entire line has a severe thunderstorm warning because it could do damaging winds. In fact, the weather service even said extensive damage. So over 60 mile an hour winds, maybe up to 70 miles an hour. And it's, it's on that leading edge of this line. So if you're in St. Louis, you're in the clear right now. Uh, there are going to be some more storms behind this. I do want to point that out. You see them developing there. These are not severe. So if I get rid of the boxes and just I'm going to grab the stand for this and threat, put it on it. It is going to be east of Litchfield now from Montgomery County, getting into Bond County, just getting into uh, Clinton, very shortly out of St. Clair into Washington, and then stretching all the way down. Because <clears> I really honestly don't want to be right by this window. Farmington <laughs> has not been hit yet. You are not in the clear, but this is a severe thunderstorm warning. No is issues with rotation. Right but you now. can be by the window. We're monitoring that. That's why it takes a team. Meteorologists get their heart and Chris and Cornette are going to keep an eye on that while I continue to track where we are seeing some rotation on the radar. We're seeing the camera from Edwardsville lighting up with lightning there. The BGC there Sky Cam at SIUE. And Farmington from the Parkland Health Center. Again, Farmington has not been hit yet. One of the areas that has been hit was uh, Shiloh Memorial. And there may have been um, a brief tornado very near that area. This is the view now and you can see they're they're done so you know if you're in shiloh you're done with a, any severe threat we go back to the warnings red boxes are the tornado warnings um and i'm going to get rid of that and just focus on where i see some rotations now so we've been tracking the line let's see what where we see actual rotations one is uh right here around sorrento it's now east of sorrento so if you're in sorrento i'd give it about three, four minutes, you're gonna be in the clear. But LaGrange, so this is Northern Bond County now. You see town of Greenville right there. This is Bond County. That's right, the right around Pocahontas is where they're putting it. Um, that one, I think is gonna be a little farther. A different cell. Yeah, I think that's a different cell. This one's the one headed towards Vandalia, Illinois, but it's got a ways to go before it gets there, by the way. Um, but just a heads up at 
if I put this around 40 miles an hour, Vandalia, it's about a half hour. So yeah, we'll monitor this, but a lot can change. On the southeast side of Sorrento, just a town name to point out, that's Reno. Okay, thank you, appreciate that. And Reno, it's likely just east of you now and crossing uh, 127. So that's Northern Bond County, crossing 127, headed towards LaGrange. Still be in your Torino shelter if you're in Reno, but about a couple minutes is all it'll take and it'll be east of you. Sorrento, you're now in the clear. Uh, LaGrange, you're not. Wilburn, you're not. Uh, you should still be in your safe shelter. If you're in Greenville, I would be in your Torino safe shelter. You're in a Torino warning. This is weak rotation, but still rotation that's coming your way. And it's, it's a prime example of what we're talking about. While this is stronger, all of a sudden this one might be the strong one within a, a one radar scan, and this one might weaken. So I, I'd rather have you in your tornado shelter. Um, Kent was mentioning Pocahontas, that's this one. It's now east of Pocahontas, just barely by a mile east side of town. If you're in Pocahontas, give it another five minutes in the tornado shelter, and then you're in the clear. And then staying south of Mosquito as well. And south of guys, has there ever been a day? I don't remember ever a day. This is and luckily, you know, unusual. it is unusual, but the, the, luckily, these so far look to be kind of the, the weaker, brief tornadoes, and we haven't had one of those long track supercell devastating tornadoes. I hope that uh, stays the case, but boy, there's a lot of these tornadoes going on, and uh, or, or rotations that could be tornadoes. New tornado warning just war. issued for uh, Monroe, Randolph, and St. Genevieve. Okay, that's Monroe, Randolph, and St. Genevieve, and that's Near new. Bloomsdale. That's new. That's farther south. So areas south that we haven't been talking about. Now we do have a tornado warning down there. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me show you that one, and it's going to be just west of Prairie to Rocher. Um, probably right in here. I'm going to have to look at the, the Doppler winds, but I want you to look at the box. The, the, and notice that the town of St. Genevieve is really on the southern. Uh, you're barely in it, but you are in it. So you're probably a sirens going off, but that rotation is more up around here. Bloomsdale is going to be real close to there. And then it's going to cross over into uh, Randolph County. There's Bloomsdale. This one's moving pretty rapidly, east at 60. Uh, it is radar indicated rotation. Okay. I'm going to look at the uh, Doppler winds, but I'm going to guess that that's probably it. So if you're in Bloomsdale, probably the stronger winds is what's going to affect you. Yeah. So Bloomsdale, strong winds inside, away from windows as that hits. And then north of town and headed more towards Prairie to Rocher. Boy, 60 miles per hour. Uh, that puts it in Prairie to Rocher in just six minutes. I mean, it's going to be on you quickly. Evansville, about 15 minutes and maybe out around Sparta, uh, maybe just south of Sparta in about 27 minutes. There's Sparta right there. So I, I tracked it from, uh, this is Bloomsdale, it's north of Bloomsdale, the Prairie to Rocher to Evansville to Sparta, being your tornado safe shelter. And we'll continue to track this. You know, when you head to the basement, we're mentioning some new towns. Um, if you don't have a TV down there, you can turn up the volume and I'll walk you through this and I'll tell you what we're seeing. Uh, or if you have a phone or tablet, you can get the live stream uh, down there and uh, just make sure you on our weather app, scroll down to where you see weather now, click on that and you're going to get this. You're going to get me walking you through it. So radar indicated new tornado warning. Okay, we're going to go back up towards uh, St. Clair and Madison counties and I'm going to switch on the Doppler winds and just try to pinpoint some of these uh, circulations for you. Again, anywhere along the leading edge, we want you to be taking shelter, but particularly this now southeast of Mascuda, right there. That's one of those weaker rotations. That's now east of Illinois Route 4. It's southeast of Mascuda, moving to the east. So Wurttemberg would be next, and that's 177 right there. There's Damiensville, it would be south of you, although there's another little, is that updated? Yep, that's another little area of rotation. Right in here, that's coming at New Baden. So New Baden, be in your tornado safe shelter. Uh, that should be the basement. If you don't have a basement, you want to be inside, away from windows, and the lowest level uh, of your home. Put as many walls between you and the outside. So that may be a bathroom, but not always the case, because you want an interior room. So if you have a bathroom and it's an exterior wall, Choose the closet that has maybe two walls between you and the outside. Just count the walls between you and the outside, and that's added protection. Um, but two areas of rotation, one here southeast of Mascuda, and another one right here just to the west of New Baden. 
And what I'm going to do is track in between as well, because again, new circulations can develop. So let's not focus on just those specific circulations. And we'll put it east at about 30 to 40 miles per hour. We mentioned New Baden, you got about five minutes uh, before that rotation. Radar indicated, radar indicated. In fact, guys, we haven't had an observed uh, tornado with spotters in a while, right? It's all right. been radar confirmed. And this one isn't radar confirmed, but I'm just saying we haven't uh, heard a lot of spotters seeing it recently, so that's good news. Vanity, about nine minutes. Uh, Oakville in uh, Washington County, Illinois, that'd be about 18 minutes. And you see New Minden uh, had a devastating uh, tornado in EF4, actually. Uh, several years back, I believe it was 2013, that'd be about 34 minutes. This is a different situation than that was, but this is still a possible tornado or tornadoes along the leading edge of this squall line here as it moves through. Not only that, and I don't, I don't want to take away from this, but not only do we have the tornado threat, and I want to take away from that tornado threat, but 60 mile an hour, 70 mile an hour winds come crashing through too. Uh, so again, St. Louis in the clear, Arnold in the clear, Belleville in the clear, Edwardsville in the clear, Highland getting hammered with rain, but let me investigate and make sure you're in the clear as far as rotation. Any rotation in Highland would just be to the east of you, so you're in the clear, but boy, it's in between uh, St. Rose and Highland. Um, that one is south of Pocahontas. Kent mentioned Pocahontas earlier. That rotation is now to the east of you. And Greenville, you're not in the clear. So there's two areas here, one right around Greenville and this other one around uh, Mills where this is a possible tornado and then also this right around Greenville. So Pocahontas, can't mention that in the clear. I just want to check out the debris tracker and see if anything's been popping up in, in the air on this. So there's that one near Mills and that was at 635. Let me go to the radar and I'm going to go back to, yeah, that's a confirmed tornado. It's not there anymore, but that right there that's at 6, so it's 6.40 now. So this is about four or five minutes ago, four or five minutes ago. This is what it looked like at 6.36, right around Mills. Wow. And uh, that lines up pretty good with, it doesn't line up exactly. Uh, I should, you know, because it was, it was like southeast of Mills and then there's where the tornado would be. There's a little bit of a difference. But that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for those little spots, because what those spots are is it's the uh, debris tracker trying to tell us, hey, something's in the air. By the way, something could be in the air because if that's the tornado, then when it goes up and then gets lofted, it gets lofted away from the tornado. So it's possible that it's not exactly right there and that the debris was picked up there. It's still a possibility. Bottom line is I think all this is just giving me more evidence that we're still seeing strong enough signatures for typically brief tornadoes, Typically weak tornadoes, some of these have shown some strong signatures. There's two areas of rotation. You see one right here east of Greenville, and then this one right here now northeast of Mills. Where are those going next? Let me give you an idea. And again, instead of tracking just those specific areas of rotation, I want to put a track on this whole line here that's going to encapsulate both of those. 30 to 40 miles an hour. Okay, I'll go ahead and grab the camera. Uh, it's starting to, even the sky starting to get lighter that direction so I think we're good we actually uh, by the grace of Yah we didn't even get the straight line winds that I could see so how we lucked out and didn't get the straight uh, straight line winds when the town you know five to seven minutes away directly west from us uh, got them that's pretty pretty incredible Anyway, figured I'd leave the camera run just in case, but I think the threat is over for now. So, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed coming around, along for the ride for the excitement. Thank, thankfully, we didn't uh, have something much, much worse. So, all right, I will catch you all later. Shalom. It's not as